This question appeared in uh, IES 2018 paper question 1b. Show that the elasticity of substitution is constant in a Cobb Douglas production function. Find its value and interpret. Now, hey, this is nothing, right? So, first of all, I need to tell you what exactly is elasticity of substitution. Well, if this is the production function which we have, let's say this is an isoquant Q. These two lines which I have drawn are the isocost lines, right? These two lines which we have drawn are the isocost lines. So let's say x equals to fkl is the production function. Right? And uh, c equals to wl plus rk is the isocost line. These are the isocost lines. Well, you need, you, you actually know this that the equilibrium is going to occur when the isoquant is tangent to the isocost line. That is uh, the least cost combination of inputs for a given level of output x bar. This is what isoquant is showing. You can call this also as x bar if you want, right? Is given by the points where this isocost line WL plus RK is tangent to this production function, right? There's nothing new as such in this. So the tangency condition that is given by MRTS. is equal to the input price ratio, which is the W by R. That is the slope of the isoquant, which is MRTS. And this is the input price ratio, which is W by R. This is nothing but, uh, this guy is nothing but the slope of the isocost line, right, W, WR. So there is one isocost line, which is, uh, which is tangent to x bar at point A and there's another isocost line which is tangent to this at point B. Right. So what do you mean by this? If you look at point A where it is tangent, you have more amount of labor and less amount of capital is being used. Right. If you just look at this point, more labor and less capital. Well, if you look at this point, this is more capital and less labor. So what is actually happening is that if, as you are moving from point A to point B, what you are doing is that you are using less and less labor, but you are using more and more capital, right? So in other words, what you can say is that you are substituting capital for labor. You are using more and more capital and less and less labor as you are moving from point A to point B. Right. Also, the slope of the isocost line, let's say this is the first isocost line and this guy is the second isocost line. The slope of the first isocost line is lesser than the slope of the second isocost line. Right. So what you can say is that uh, W by R at B, right, W by R at B is more than W by R at A. This is what you can say. Hmm. This is what you can say. And note that at both points A and B, you're producing the same level of output, X bar. There's nothing much which is happening. So W by R at B is more than W by R at A. So when W by R at B is more than this, of course, you'll be using less labor and more capital, right? Because, uh, I mean, labor is getting more expensive as you're moving from point A to B, right? That's, that's what is meant by this. So what you can say is that as, please write, as W by R increases, right?
k by l increases that is you're using more and more labor sorry more and more capital and less labor so capital labor ratio is getting higher and higher right so you're what you're doing is that you're substituting capital for labor so what you can say is basically this that capital labor ratio one this is an increasing function of w by r you can say that this is an increasing function of w by r where i mean this phi dash is greater than zero that is this is an increasing function of w by r so k by l is definitely a function of the input price ratio and this is an increasing function of w by r so what you can say please write this line which says this that is that is this the responsiveness the responsiveness of k by l to the changes in w by r to produce the same level of output this is basically is the elasticity of substitution this is in very very simple terminology that how easy for you is to substitute uh, one input for the another that is dependent upon the input price ratio so elasticity of substitution is given by this which is d log of k by l upon d log of w by r d log of k by l is equal to d log of w by r that is basically d log of k by l all upon d log of mrts and why can you write in place of w by in uh, mrts in place of w by r because at the tangency that is at equilibrium mrts is equal to w by r so this is the formula for elasticity of substitution okay now in this problem you have y equals to a k to the power alpha and l to the power beta i can also write this k as a capital k it doesn't matter so you have a k to the power alpha l to the power beta right so what you can write is just find out what is mrts which is mpl upon mpk so this would be a beta l to the power beta minus 1 k to the power alpha all upon this is a alpha k to the power alpha minus 1 a to the power beta so basically you can write this as beta by alpha and you take this alpha minus 1 up this will be just k this will be just l right so log of MRTS would be log of beta by alpha plus log of k by alpha. Right. So d log of MRTS would be equal to, I mean, this is just 0, d log of k by alpha. So this implies what? This implies that uh, you could just write this as 
d log of k by l d log of ds equal to so this is the value of elasticity of substitution so you can take just this in there below this and this is just one right so this is the elasticity of substitution for a chord of this function 